Hello, one, two, three. Okay, very good. Okay. Well, episode six coming to you all the way. Wow, it's already episode six. And I'm making this vlog, Kushadasi, in Turkey, in beautiful Kushadasi, Turkey. And this episode, we're going to be talking about how I have figured the journey of miscommunication and misunderstanding is probably single handedly responsible for not, if not all, but most of the conflicts within my personal life, as well as because thinking, hey, I couldn't be that much of a mess. So what I did is I actually went on and studied characters of history and history itself and psychology. And you just see very quickly that this is actually one of the most common and easier to notice patterns that have been happening all throughout the history of humanity. Again, single-handedly probably responsible for most, if not all of the conflicts within this history as well. So why is it so important and why is it so imperative to understand? Well, because it is what, when you look, has caused almost all of the conflicts within our personal lives, as well as with every single thing outside of ourselves, as well as every other human conflict around the world. It all comes from the place of not understanding. So what does this whole misunderstanding mean? Misunderstanding comes from this one simple principle, which is what a whole big chunk of the population believes at every waking moment of their life, based on this, based on the fun, fundamental pillar belief that their perspective of the world is that of everyone else's. And if there is no alignment, also known as two people not having the same beliefs fundamentally, then they are wrong. And uh, by the way, as I said, a big chunk of the population of Earth still live in that paradigm where they believe that their vision and their views are the right way. Like, just look at the number of religious people around the world. They all believe they're going to go to heaven and everybody else is going to go to hell. Uh, I mean, by their own account, I don't know how many heaven and hells there's going to be. Like, at least we got like a hundred for every religion. And everybody claims that theirs is the only one and the real one. That's aside from the conversation. But the important thing that I wish to bring to the attention of this journal and this input is that once we do come to terms to understand that every other perspective outside of ours is still a very valid perspective may not suit us or work for us or serve us but it is definitely serving whoever believes in it and once that is understood that there is no right or wrong and just because there is an, an opposing even perspective to mine it doesn't mean they're wrong or i'm right or i'm wrong which is the truth. And as long as everybody understands that there must be a mutual respect for the sanctity of life, not that everything is right. There are obviously things that as a social 
global consciousness have been accepted to be wrong, such as violating the weaker species, you know, jungles, animals that we're driving to extinctions, that we come back to help our own vulnerable, you know, the elderly women, the kids. They're always more protected, obviously. We're all in unison on how wrong some things are. But you still believe and see in our society people who believe that doing things that are immoral to most of the society, and they still do it with impunity and believing that they're doing what they're here to experience. So again, oh, let's not get too caught up in that. Misunderstandings happen because we assume there's only one way of life. And that way is our way. And everything else is not important, therefore should not be considered. Whereas that is why 80% of the world's population that does believe like that also lives at the bottom of the financial food chain or the productivity or the creativity or the leadership. All of those things align because... As soon as you start understanding and employing that there are other completely valid, other opposing at most times views to mine, and they're just as valid as mine are, then it becomes more understandable and more intuitive, if you say, because it becomes a part of the perspective that we're operating at to communicate with the external world under that pretext. So naturally, everything will be taken, not within the old previous frameworks of belief that constituted that if somebody didn't agree with what I believed then fundamentally, they are wrong. Therefore, it doesn't matter. I do not need to associate myself with them. They're going to go to hell. I'm going to go to heaven. This conversation ends here. I'm going to go and do this with somebody who believes what I believe in. That's tribalism. It's okay, but that's not where the humanity as a whole is heading towards. Uh, we have been coming out of that and understanding communication, even in relationships such as, you know, intimate relationships with our partners, most importantly than any other, I would say, actually in life beyond parenthood and that of our intimate partners. This is just something that I completely needed to come in terms with, in terms of learning to understand the world of the people with whom I care about and I wish to associate myself with. with no judgments and that single understanding perspective shift or a paradigm shift eventually that it it puts me in completely gives me different set of tools to understand the world i exist in and interact with it from a different place with different abilities to respond. It makes me more of a response able person. And obviously, as a part of employing the idea that my vision and my understandings and perspectives of this life are not absolute and they're just my hallucination only, which by the way, now Dr. Uh, Anil Sith, professor, uh, has been working on this for decades, and he's just about, he, he actually just released two massive papers on this. But this is now even known to science. It's all a hallucination. So, okay, if my hallucination is not right and yours is not right, then what is right? Okay, nothing is right. So then 
uh, then why don't I just try to understand your perspective if we need to coexist uh, without judging you and see how we could both, without violating immoral beliefs, get along instead of just be enemies and refuse to speak to one another. Or even when we do speak to one another, just say, uh-huh, uh-huh, and just try to get away from the conversation. Because I'm already thinking what I want to tell you when you're saying something that opposes my opinions, because it just shakes my world so much to the core where I feel so threatened that I need to immediately defend anything that remotely sounds like something in the opposite aisle of what I believe in. Anyways, understanding can bring massive shift to any life because it did to mine. And I think I am towards the end of this. <laughs>